Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto Variation, 4, BB4 plus 5. BD2 BX D2 plus 6. QX D2 BA6. Balanced, neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The Queen's Indian defense prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7, where it will have influence on the long diagonal. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. bb4 plus develops the bishop, puts the king in check and prepares castling. bd2 develops the bishop, blocks the check and offers an exchange of bishops. Bx d2 plus exchanges dark squared bishops and puts the king in check. Qx d2 recaptures the bishop and develops the queen. Ba6 develops the bishop and attacks the c4 pawn. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is the final book action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This displays a queen attack. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. This ignores a better way to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to win a pawn. It is a mistake. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. It is a misbalanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.